Okay, just the cap cap? Yep. Great. <coughs> okay. Are you ready again? Yep. Extinction is inevitable in a world of capitalistic expansion. Our international review evidence indicates the top motive drives the destruction of the Amazon and ozone layer, destroying the Earth's carrying capacity for life. This means we can't always finish prior to die for the author. They send our, our marsh card. This means there's an ethical obligation to the uh, to vote negative for the, the card gives an example of a free counseling and alcoholic. This means that even if you don't think the alternative does much, then you still have an ethical obligation to vote for the negative in our alternative is to reject the affirmative as an act of everyday action against capital R. Herod evidence for this is an act of active removal of yourself from capitalistic notions like the planet which have been possibilities of living in a world without exploitation this round is a key opportunity to do so. You can disrupt the internal structures of capitalism by choosing to vote negative and risk dying this rupture system and last for alternative political spaces and new knowledge ever to capitalism's hold on knowledge production these or new ways of knowledge production will then politicize and come to the forefront of policy discussions and they don't get a permutation this way that is about competing in epistemologies. All of our links are, are independent dissets to the permutation I'll do the link work later and there's a the dissets to the permutation that they are always already in an intersectional analysis this means that, that race and gender and class are not co-primary and as class defines all social dimensions they are asked scholarship trades off with an understanding of how class affects the things that they talk about and Lauren uh, in four. The race, uh, the race class gender triplet can sound vaguely Marxian and does not race class and gender are not co primary. It is not so that some individuals manifest class and this results in their oppression to become a member of social classes just to be oppressed. Class is the holy social category. Class is spoke with a tripack is gutted of its practical dimension. Class is transformed in, uh, from an economic category to merely a subject position. Class is not therefore cut off from the political economy, such as the arising as the effect of the place of class analysis with cultural analysis. Post Marxist strip class of the element in which you made a radical universal form. Class is both logically and historically essential. A that class is inevitably unimaginable. There's no true resolution of racism so long as class society stands in its budget. So racial oppressive society and plus class defending state. No, can gender inequality be enacted so long as class demands exploitation of the historical materials and reveal how class uh, categories of difference constitute in, in ways in which oppression is experienced within a class-based system? This framework must be distinguished from those that evoke class to foreground the idea that class matters since class is not simply another ideology to marginalize classes can to conflate an individual, individual subjective location and structures of inequality within subjective experiences inherent proves the alternative is a rejection of capitalism as a totality. This means that the curve is doomed to, to failure and there's a rhetoric to set to the permutation of finding Marxism. When their act turns Marxism into merely rhetoric and turning out the curve of liberatory potential, this is far the three. They see themselves as broadening Marxism within the think orthodox Marxism is not addressed by engaging with feminist and cultural studies, not Marxist forms of historicism. This results is Marxism is pluralized into rhetoric class and category among them. such radical rewriting of Marxism reducing its vocabulary and rhetoric is an indicator of both the, uh, the growth of class contradictions and uh, the means by which ideal, uh, ideologists of real class work to contain it, and the permutation fails accommodation results in the refusal to privilege class as a primary exclusion. Point then in one. Postmodern post Marxism refer to the shared set of positions through which radical democracy and anti school reduce Marxism to teleo teleological, to uh, to totalizing and centralizing traditional class of Marxism is understood to be an inherently economic and class structures paradigm with these traditions share commitment to post modern politics and refuse to privilege class oppression and reforms uh, to other forms of domination. They theorize capitalism's macro level social structure that is inherently exploitative. This answers their, argu uh, their argument in Milton Milton's an answer to capitalism. Externalize it in terms of value. This means that, that uh, we check back for, uh, for, check back for them. They say the one is always how capitalism affects the black body, but all of our evidence indicates that if you don't know, uh, privilege things like class analysis, then this means that you can never explain why, about, uh, why bodies are valuable, uh, uh, why bodies are valuable, or why bodies are seen as valuable in the first place. Then, and uh, I'll do the link work here. You should extend our young and six card. This indicates racial oppression is used by capitalism to justify uh, things like economic exploitation. This means that we're probably uh, that we're running a root cause bait here, and you should also extend our chapter accused card. That this means the market creates an asymmetric demand for organs in the first world. This means the poor and racialized groups will always uh, continue to be objects for neoliberal organ harvest. Card indicates that markets are by nature discriminate uh, and reduce everything to, to, to commodities. This means that they are not able to solve the app. Be, if capitalism structure structurally is st still exists, because humans will still be marked for organ transplant technologies because they will just drive up the global scarcity of, uh, global, uh, of, of viable organs worldwide. This means that they will necessarily always flow from the third uh, from the uh, global south to the global north, from poor to rich, and from off the brown bodies to, uh, to white bodies. This means that their uh, their one see plan tax necessarily means that they can never solve capitalism because they advocate that the U.S. should legalize the sale of human organs. This means that this just props up the system of inequality. That means that black gendered organs are, uh, will uh, still be uh, will still be commodified. Then don't let them spend their advocacy. This means that capitalism will inherently co-opt their strategy because the method that they choose employs the uh, just increases the opportunity of 
selling these organs just because they claim that they're in the United States doesn't mean that the, the capitalists won't exploit the uh, exploit their plant tax and the uh, and the market for human organs is artificially sustained to justify exploitation and oppression. Legalization will only enable the process of further structural violence. This turns are abstract. Uh, Shepard Hughes in 2000. Demand for human organs set aside question about how the purchase quantity was obtained the specter of long transmission. <coughs> Results are blatant virtualism or organ scarcity is artificially created. The medical discourse on scarcity is producing new cannibals and we're eyeing each other to have sort of detachable spare parts in which to extend our lives. And the postponer. <coughs> Uh, and they, uh, they say that they focus on that they uh, they say that they focus on changing discourse and ontology. This uh, approach to capital, which focuses on this instead of material truth, collapses into relativism, which makes confrontation with capitalism impossible. This is point one and one. For postmodern Marxists, we have the intellectual regime characterized by a philosophy of language as long as postmodern Marxism is can certainly only way to compensate for structures of capitalism that are too totalizing through unconditional surrender. Marxism is project predicated on the faulty epistemological premise of what really matters is discourse. Once we enter the world of epistemological foundationalism predicated on claim that there's nothing but discourse, we enter a world of relativism, which all we can do is create discourse of fixing the guarantee that any particular analysis will never find the ultimate cause of events this postmodern insistence of producing all social reality to discourse ultimately overloads the theoretical apparatus and, and causes it to buckle beneath them this provisional ontology is incapable of escaping the performative chapter trying to Rid of essential science, essentializing all realities as discursive on the case well, they're pretty indicative of this when they say that they are that discourse opens and disrupts things. This means their uh, method of solving is, is inherently tied to discourse. This means they can never solve back without first solving for capitalism. This means K is a necessary prerequisite to the app being able to solve because corporate control is responsible for the obliteration of discourse and social forms and institutions' values that are all central to the main uh, are all central to any revolutionary politics. This is Duro and five. The United States in the last 30 years has re- as witnessed the increasing obliteration of thesis or social forms of public institutions, non commercial values that are central to the democratically charged politics of the engagement now appears impotent as corporations, privatized public space, and disconnect powers from issues of equity, social justice, and civic responsibility, market identities, and commercial values take precedence over democratic relations. This means that they can never change any sort of discursive relations if they don't solve first solve for capitalism. Uh, and they and we don't like to any of, uh, of their foot in a race argument. We think that structural violence like racism push, is pushed under the rug because of capitalism. This means that all necessarily brings issues like pressure to the foreground of political thought and action. There's a starting point to disadvantage subalternative epistemology would inherently be a part of the all, but historicizing the connections between capitalism and racism are key. Otherwise, scholarship lacks revolutionary potential because we miss the forest for this reason. Well, when the root cause of any racism marks people for exploitation of capitalism accordingly, generates an ideological defense to normalize that exploitation and eliminating racial oppression requires a ca- uh, attack on capitalism. This is Galilean 6. Race emerges, emerges historically and within specific political economic coordinates. These coordinates link the logic of race to the logic of capitalist, of capitalist exploitation. Race signals the market for exploitation. And this economic standard in turn generates an accompanying ideological machinery to justify an increase in exploitation. Race represents not just a cultural and political category as many critics attest to, but it represents the historical apparatus for the production, maintenance, and re-legitimization of inequalities of wage labor similar to other modes of social difference like gender and sexuality. Race participates in nationalizing asymmetry, asymmetrical social relations. And they're, uh, they're starting to, uh, their starting point due to the act of failure. The notion of rights of the originated just by a protect slavery because plantation owners needed to split poor rights and enslaved blacks and prevent a revolution. Anti racism was trying to fail that a racial crime uh, ensure that the recognition of corporations form and racial divides cre- can create a truly successful revolutionary coalition. This is Alexander and Tim. Race is relatively recent, only in the past few years, owing to European imperialism and the early colonial period, what Fox and White struggled to survive the common, against the common enemy, the big planter apparatus, is farming, expanded demand, increased for greatly. For labor was met through slavery. Slaves suffered the most, the majority of free whites lived in the extreme poverty of the planter. And Lee occupied a vast superior position to all, all colors, simmering resentment, and created conditions bright for revolt. The attempted revolution was ended by false promises of amnesty. The planter Lee was deeply fearful of the multiracial alliance to provide to protect their interests. The planter cost to uh, racial bribe the planter Standard special privileges to poor whites. Reject capitalism in the everyday. This means. 
means that uh, whenever uh, you are encountered with something that is capitalistic, like, then what do you mean? Like what? Uh, like, uh, we advance the argument that the plan is, or that your AF is an instance of capital because it would increase the, for one, the selling. What does an instance of rejecting capitalism look like? What is your alternative to uh, I, I guess I don't understand. Uh, so Herod frames this as a rupture to the system. This means that you are allowing new forms of political action to fill that space. And so that's um, based off the fact that we read to That's one of the reasons, yeah. Because we read a fictional piece of work. Uh, I don't think we have a link to the fact that it was fiction. So um, how exactly do you link if the app is completely written in fiction? So we have a few links. The first uh, is the idea of placing race, gender, and class uh, mm -hmm. as a tertiary form of expression <laughs> instead of looking to class as um, in a fictional world the app is literally okay. uh, So our other links were to the idea of organ sales. We indicate that. Right. What? what was it about? Yeah. So our first, uh, our one is C. Shepard Hughes evidence indicates that uh, creating the ability to sell organs uh, necessarily means that. How did the one is well, for one, your plan text is that the U.S. should legalize the sale of human organs. Correct. Right. I'm pretty sure, like, I made an argument about how it's, like, talking about the... Sure. Like, so that was my argument that even if you say that it means something else, the it's going to be interpreted... To spin, we're not allowed to spin our advocacy, right? I mean, you can try to spin it to whatever you want, but my argument is that that advocacy allows the opportunity for co-option by capitalist elites. The way that it was... But what if we already make the argument that we're already being co-opted? Even if co-optation already is occurring, this debate right is a unique space to what's challenge the, what's that. The impacts of what? Uh, well, it turns the app. Like, Why does it turn the app if the app already says like, I mean, in the in the middle in the mode evidence that we're already co-opted, we're already a commodity? Seems like co-optation. Okay. Um, 